Welcome back, everybody, to my birthday special for Charles Martinet, in which we're going to play some PlayStation 2 games. We're going to play five of them. The first one is, of course, Jeopardy. Let's see how it goes. Kill the music. Thank you. All right, let's have a good game. What do you say, Tiger? Yeah, come here. You, oh, I'm sorry. I'll just say, here, you can sit in the arm of the chair, and I'll sit here. I'll sit here. Yeah, come on up. Good cat. Good kitty. We're going to play Jeopardy, okay? Good boy, Tiger. There you go. Hi folks, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Tournament of Champions. One player. I'm ready to play and I'm ready to win. From the Sony Pictures Studio, this is Jeopardy! Hi everyone and welcome to Jeopardy's Tournament of Champions. Only the very best players are invited to participate. So congratulations to each of you. Let's get started. Alright, let's! We've got some really interesting first round categories for you today. Let's take a look. I'm ready. Okay. A number from one to ten. I haven't seen this category, I don't think. Zoology. I may have, I just can't remember. Abbreviations. Celebrity odd jobs. Nicknames. Okay. And you're in Uruguay. Which is a country in South America. I'm ready. Let's get things underway, player one. Abbreviations 200. Abbreviated HMOs, many Americans are now enrolled in these groups that function as both insurers and care providers. What are health maintenance organizations? Definitely. Abbreviations for 400. Meaning of feeding apparatus, IV stands for this. What is intravenous? That's it. Player one, you're still in control of the board. All right, let's do uh, abbreviations for 600. Advertised in face creams as well as beach products, SPF stands for this. What is sun protection factor? Correct. The man seen here was a member of this political party, abbreviated the ANC. Here's your clue. Take a look. What is the African National Congress? Correct. All right. Abbreviations 1000. Tenderfoots know it's the BSA. What is the... No. Oh, what is the Boy Scouts of America? Correct. Pick Thank again. you. Uh, celebrity odd jobs for 200. His early career was so rocky, he had to sweep out the lion cages at the Central Park Zoo. Who is Sylvester Stallone?
Correct. Pick again. I'll take celebrity odd jobs for 400. The fabulous Baker Boys might know she was a supermarket checker before she became a superstar. Who's Michelle Pfeiffer? Correct. I'll take celebrity odd jobs for 600, please. The perfect comic foil, this actor who played young Frankenstein was once a fencing instructor. Here's the clue. That's Gene Wilder. So I'm gonna say who's Gene Wilder. Very good, you pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. I feel good about this category, I'm gonna bet it all. Player one, please make your wager now. Okay, here's the clue. This late comedian with the first name Sam was once a Pentecostal preacher. With the first name Sam, okay, he was a comedian. So I'm going to say who was... Not Sammy Sosa. Sam Kinison or Sam Colt or Sam McLeod? I'll pick with Sam McLeod. No, sorry. Ray, Ray, Ray. Oh, crap. This is the correct Sam question. Sam Kinison. Well, I can bounce back. I've done it before. It's okay. He used to be a cab driver in London. Now he's Bond. James Bond. Who's Pierce Brosnan? Well, despite the fact that we lost it all in the Daily Double, we can bounce back. Right. Pick again. Uh, let's have a uh, nickname for 200. Last name of the mother and son who were Miss Lillian and Gritz. Um, what is Carter? Correct. Uh, nickname 400. Fish. Nickname shared by football's Vernon Smith and baseball's James Hunter. Um, what is, a uh, catfish? Right, pick again. Nickname 600. Gangster Martin Goldsmith was nicknamed this with two Gs. Benjamin Siegel had only one. What is Bugsy? Very good. Uh, let's keep it going with nicknames right here, please. You've got this one nailed if you know this is Lewis Turkle's nickname. What is... Hammer? Ooh, sorry. No. What is Studs? Yes. Oh, Studs Turkle, that's right. Player two, you choose. You are in Uruguay for 200. Uruguay's only large city, this capital contains about 40% of the country's population. What is Montevideo? Yes! You're in Uruguay for 400. Player one. Top sport in the country, Uruguay has won the World Cup in this twice in 1930 and 1950. Was soccer. Precisely. Pick You're again. in Uruguay 600. Long romanticized in literature, these cowboys tend ranches called estancias. Or gauchos. Correct. Pick again. The two traditional political parties are named for their colors, Blancos for white and Colorados for this color. What is red? Very good, you pick again. Uruguay's bird life ranges from small parakeets to this five foot tall flightless bird. What is a rea? Very good. Let's finish names for a thousand, please. 
Born in 1861, this Chicago chewing gum businessman was known as the monarch of mastication. Who is Rickley? Right, pick again. A number from 1 to 10 for 200. Proverbial number that can play at that game. Was 2. That's it. Number from 1 to 10, 400. States in present-day New England. Was 6. Yes. 1 to 10, 600. Chambers in your heart. What is... Four. Right, pick again. Eight. Days of prayer in a novena. What is nine? Correct. Syllables in a line of standard iambic pentameter. What is five? Good guess, but no. Really? What is ten? That's it. Oh, Player ten. three, your turn. All right, it's okay. Zoology for 200. A squirrel uses this fluffy appendage for balance when it leaps or climbs. What's a tail? There you go, thank you. A, I, L. Right. Let's keep it going. Player one. Africa is home to both the greater and lesser types of these long-legged, curvy-necked, pink wading birds. What are flamingos? What is a flamingo, I should say? Correct. Pick again. My bad. Wow, the upside-down type of this feline fish really does swim upside down. What's a catfish? Precisely. Pick again. People and lions are the main predators of this tallest mammal. What is a giraffe? That's it. And now to complete this round. This arthropod is nicknamed the hundred-legger, though some may have 170 pairs of legs. What's a centipede? Yes, indeed. $9,400 at the end of the Jeopardy round. Not bad. Okay, that's all for the Jeopardy round. Now we'll take a look at the scores. Player one, you're off to a fine start. Now it's time for the double Jeopardy round. And remember, dollar values double, and we have two daily doubles for you on this board. Let's go. Let's get to the categories in double Jeopardy. Hope we get some good ones. Okay. Odds and ends. I like that one. All right. Art history. We'll see. American hodgepodge. All right. It's in the book. Notice the quotation marks. What foods these morsels be? And to conclude, business terms. Player two, if you would start us off, please. Odds and ends for 400. Coal and crow are shades of this color. What is black? Exactly. Uh, odds and ends, 800. Player one, you choose. Barbie's boy toy. In March 2001, he celebrated his 40th birthday. Was Ken. Right, pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. I'll try it again. Player one, please make your wager now. Here's the clue.
The barn variety of this bird doesn't give a hoot, but rather a raspy hissing screech. What is an owl? Right you are. The phrase, beware of Greeks bearing gifts, goes back to this gift in mythology. What is the Trojan horse? Right you are. Famous for the Gettysburg charge named for him, after the Civil War, he became an insurance agent. Who is uh, William Jacobs Sherman? Ooh, sorry. Who was George Pickett? Yes, indeed. Player two, it's your turn. It's in the book for 400. The 1997 Greater L.A. Edition had 17 columns of Smith's and 20 columns of Rodriguez's. What is a phone book? Right you are. I'll take, uh, it's in the book for 800 place. Player one, what'll it be now? It can mean an insect or a person who devours volumes. What's a bookworm? Right. Uh, it's in the book for 1,200. Bob Hoskins' father was a bookkeeper, and Peter O'Toole's father had this racier profession. What is a bookmaker? Very good. You pick again. Aimed at women, it's the biggest selling U.S. magazine that fits the category. What is the book of love? I'm sorry, that's wrong. What is Red Book? Exactly. Oh, yeah. Player three, your turn. Oh, well. What foods these morsels be for 400? All right. Put a feather in your cap if you know that fichetti is a type of this hollow Italian pasta. What is macaroni? That's it. Player one, it's your turn. In the South, hominy, when ground, is more popularly known as this. What is grits? You bet. Uh, for 1,200. Hummus is made with chickpeas, which are also known as these beans. What are garbanzo beans? Yes. I'll take, uh, what food is this morsel P16? Hop in for some deep fried lapin at restaurants in Paris, and you'll learn it's this animal. Deep fried La Pan. What is rabbit? That's it exactly. Fry up some of these insects and you can enjoy the Colombian treat, Hormiga Culona. Or ants. Exactly. The 1954 work, Seduction of the Innocent, blamed these publications for corrupting America's youth. What are comic books? Yes. Uh, American Hodgepodge for 400. Not far from the Arctic Circle, Kotzebue is the second largest Eskimo village in this U.S. state. What is Alaska?
Right, pick again. This green mountain state has half as many cows as people. What is Vermont? Right, pick again. Ironically, this animal found in Michigan's nickname is no longer found there in the wild. Here's the clue. What's a wolverine? Right, pick again. The highest point in this southeastern state is just 345 feet in Walton County near the Alabama border. What is Georgia? No, too bad. What is Florida? Exactly. Oh. Player three, you choose. Art history for 400. This ancient statue is also named the Aphrodite of Melos. What is the Venus of Milo? Correct. Art uh, history for eight. Player one. 1890's Starry Night is one of his masterpieces. Who's Vincent Van Gogh? Very good. You pick again. Keep it going. This movement that included Monet and Renoir got its name from a painting by Monet. What is Impressionism? Right, pick again. Answer, the Daily Double. Okay, I'm gonna try... Player one, please make your wager now. 27,200. Okay, here's the clue. She vacationed in New Mexico and settled there after her husband, Alfred Stieglitz, died in 1946. Was Georgia O'Keefe? Correct. Pick again. Scream, if you know that this Norwegian artist painted The Scream in 1893. Who is Edvard Munch? Correct. Pick again. Cities in this diamond state include Wilmington and Dover. What is Delaware? Correct. Pick again. All that's left is business terms. Sensible consumers clip these to get sense off. What are coupons? Correct. Pick again. It's the boating term used when the government comes to the aid of a sinking business, like Chrysler in 1979. What is a bailout? Right you are. Player two, you choose. Business terms for 1,200. A firm that buys and sells other firms, or part of the name of Janis Joplin's 60s band. What is a uh, holding company? Yes. Player one, it's your turn. Term for the amount a retailer adds to the cost price of a product. It may not be all profit. What is markup? Right you are. Now the last clue. Mm. And finishing off this round. A factory's manual labor is blue collar, and these are steel collar. <laughs> what are robots? That's right. That's the end of the double jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores, shall we? Uh, I bounced back beautifully. No question about it, you're hot stuff, player one.
Final Jeopardy time. Once I give you the category, you'll have a few seconds to decide on your wager. Historic women. Go ahead, make your wager. Historic women, okay. 34,400. Here's the final Jeopardy answer. Good luck. I'm ready. Perrault's, the man whom this future prime minister married in 1942, was not related to the Mahatma. That's my answer. Let's see if you got the right question. Your question, player three, was... Indira Gandhi. Quite the gamble, player three, but... And I know I'm right. It was worth it, wasn't it? Good so for I'm you. I'm gonna end up with $100,000. Your question, player two, was... Uh-oh, no. no. So how much is that going to cost? Ooh. Player one, what was your question? That's it. And you wagered how much? See you all for the next game, everybody. That was a heck of a game. Yeah, it was. Hats off to our first place finisher. It's player one. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Hope you had a good time. So long, everybody.